commuters are calling for an overhaul of the compensation scheme for anyone inconvenienced when the train service isn't performing to a suitable standard. As Heidi Murphy reports, they're arguing since working habits have changed, so should the refund system. For the third time this year, Metro Trains has to repay commuters. In July, we missed our delivery target. We had a higher number of cancellations. Conceding it's not good enough. I want to apologise to passengers for not providing them with the consistent service that they expect. The operator has targets for reliability and punctuality. The one missed in July means a free day's travel is on offer to make up for it, but only if you have a monthly or yearly pass and only if you've travelled for 10 days in the month. There's calls to overhaul that scheme. That's become a big issue now because, of course, now we're in post-COVID, we're in the work-from-home world. People are only coming into the office maybe three days a week. Meaning monthly passes aren't worth it. They're just as inconvenienced when it happens. We now need a wider band of eligible passengers. You really should just be able to demonstrate that you are a regular user of the system. The criteria for compensation are, are very clearly set out. There probably might be a reason to revisit some of that in the future. We could have automatic compensation for cancellations and lack of punctuality to keep the operators on their toes. Metro says while it's not making excuses, there was a COVID spike in July which affected driver availability numbers. There's also been equipment faults and criminal activity. It's up to us to manage all of the impacts around the railway and uh, we will be compensating passengers for that. Heidi Murphy, Nine News.